Top 10 Worst Simpsons Characters If you are brand new to our channel, we invite you to take a moment to subscribe. Just click on the lit red button as well as the gray bell. Why the bell? Well, it will let you know every time we post a new video. 10 10. Ned Flanders. Every sitcom has their recurring neighbor in this case it's Ned Flander. And Christian senior man that lost two wives on the show still parenting two sons. Despite his harsh criticism related to the Bible, didn't seem to mind that in his Christian movies. He kinda has his own language as he says stuff that don't make any sense. For a while, it was funny now getting old. He appears in a lot episodes including those centering around him. I never was much for him except a few treehouse of horror appearance especially being the devil. 9. 9. Helen Lovejoy. Reverend Lovejoy's wife is such a bitch especially to Marge. Not only she has strong opinions on things, but fails to see some problems about to happen. Helen never was funny at any point in the show in fact no episodes centers around her thank god for that, or I would hang myself. She is in terrible character, that I'm amazed got on the show. Usually Helen rubs stuff in some people's faces which the way she does it wasn't common in sitcoms at the time. Which I have no problem against except that's kind of her role in some episodes. Yet they're always in better character that does the same thing named Nelson. Yeah, even in Kid is more entertaining than her now, that's sad. 8. 8. Carl Carlson. Carl is both a co-worker and friend of Homer. He never had many funny moments which his best had several characters involved. To be honest, he doesn't bring much to the table except helping with making some things funnier. Carl stole lottery money that he agreed to share with the guys over something stupid. He never plays a major role in any episode, except for that lottery episode. Carl simply doesn't work for an Simpsons character. 7. 7. Bumblebee Man. An Spanish guy that hosts an terrible slapstick comedy show. Unlike Carl, there isn't any episode centering around him. Widely known for dressing in and be costume. One of the first different language speaking Simpsons characters. Like Carl, his best moments involve several characters but shorter live than those. Honestly there isn't much more to go on Bumblebee Man is simply boring for an cartoon character. 6. 6. Principal Skinner. Bart's original recurring nemesis to his school principal. Principal Skinner was originally named Armin Tanzarian in Street Punk until he joined the military. This is where he went into a war with the real Seymour Skinner. However he was classified as MIA which turned out to be captured by the Chinese. For many years, Principal Skinner was running the school up till his commanding officer returned. Thanks to Homer, he took care of two problems relating to him, so he can run the school again. Mostly the first few seasons he was funny, but he quickly got boring over the years. The concept of being a mama boy in all honestly was done better on the Big Bang Theory. In some episodes you find out Skinner has terrible taste and stuff that would make you want to jump out a window. What's sadder is his boss actually a more entertaining character. Thus Principal Skinner suffers especially compared to principals in American Dad and Family Guy. He could have been a great character but all short. Unlike the last few people, Skinner got a few episodes centering around him to further embrace the character. 5. 5. Dewey Largo. I always hated this guy Lisa's music teacher is such a dick. He barely says anything nice with a few funny moments but were brief. Mostly you see him in parts of the show taking place in school, but no episode centers around him. Like Helen Lovejoy, this guy is in your face with strong opinion, but too large of expectments. 
If he was in real music teacher chances are maybe two days of work before getting fired. I just don't care for this guy at all, and I doubt there are people who act for. Four. Santa's little helper. The only pet to be on either list, but I have my reasons for doing this. First off Santa's little helper, while some will find cute even you got to be honest that's a terrible name. He got so many puppies in a few episodes even putting Apu to shame. I actually like his puppies more than him as two of their cats, were better characters in my opinion. Santa's little helper is not only lovable, but dumb similar to Homer even with the same birthday, but nowhere near as entertaining. There are a few episodes centering around him, but those were within the first 10 seasons. Lately he haven't, did much except trash up the place, or be there especially during an sad moment. Now I know I'm being harsh about a cartoon dog. I for one love having dogs as pets, but I'm glad I don't own him. He doesn't bring a lot to the table either which makes it pointless to have him on the show. 3. 3. Ralph Wiggum. Police Chief's son is amazingly stupid. Not many episodes centers around him with his face on one of the last season box sets. This guy says the dumbest things that won't make any sense. He did cameo before the movie started on 20th Century Logo, but that was his greatest highlight lasting a few seconds. Last I checked there isn't a kid that's stupid anywhere in the entire world. Even with the future episodes Ralph doesn't fare much better. At most you might laugh otherwise he just wasted your time. I am aware he's more of a random comedy character, but over the years characters like Nelson still funny. To sum it up Ralph wasn't very funny to begin with now most of his newer moments aren't worth watching. 2. 2. Disco Stew. Another character I never cared for, Disco Stew mostly dances. His jokes are terrible in fact, does anyone remember his famous scene, where he revealed he hates disco? Yeah he doesn't bring anything to the table with his best stuff being boring. Even Ralph had funnier stuff than this, and that's in Kid. One of the many annoying characters still around once married Selma one of Bart's aunts for a short time. Selma even stated she could do better than him which is true. He is one of the select few characters that simply can't work in any way especially Treehouse of Horror episodes. 1. 1. Poochie. Finally we get to talk about the single worst Simpsons character. Poochie originally created for a new version of the Itchy and Scratchy show to help bring in more kids. At the time they were more into rap at the time, so they created Poochie who's a rapping dog with funky clothes as well as strange traits like riding and bike carrying and surfboard. He doesn't appear in many episodes more recently being cameos. Now ask yourselves does Poochie fit in with Itchy and Scratchy? Hell no but oh wait it gets worse guess who voices him on the show? Take a guess I'll give you time, would you ever guess Homer Simpson? Yeah one of the absolute best characters voices Poochie to say terrible lines. Not only he isn't funny, but like Disco Stu there isn't anything they could do with him either. In fact he's so bad they did in Terabetic coming up with a crappy excuse to remove him from the show. Poochie did more harm than good with everything not working makes him the single worst Simpsons character ever. Yeah.